Good day, students. I hope you are doing good today. Welcome to Credit to Harvard online class. My name is Mr. Chris Agbo, and I am your mathematics teacher. Today, we'll be looking at algebraic simplification. But before we go further, I would like us to understand what is an algebraic expression. When you hear the word algebraic expression, it means a combination of numerics and alphabet. That is to say, the combination of letters and number in an alphabet is what is called an algebraic expression. Now, by the end of this class, by the end of this lesson, the lessons, things I want you to understand are this. One, you should be able to state the coefficient of an algebraic term. The second thing you, you know is, two, you should be able to group positive and negative terms to simplify an algebraic expression. And three, you should be able to group like and unlike terms to simplify an algebraic expression. Now let's go into the class proper. The first one is the coefficient. Now, it says in arithmetic, 3 times 4 is a short way of writing 3. It's a short way of writing 4 plus 4 plus 4. That is to say, 4 times, writing 4 times 3, I mean 3, I mean 4 in 3 places. But in algebra, it's also the same thing. When you say 3 times a, it means a plus a plus a. Now, we usually shorten 3 times a to be 3a in algebra. Also, you should also understand this, that in other words, 3a can be written as 3 times a, and it can be written as a plus a plus a. Now, all of this example, 3a, x plus 1, 7 minus r, and 7y are all examples of algebraic expression. Now, in algebra, 3a, we say 3 is the coefficient of a. Now, let's go into coefficient proper. Let's look at example 1. In 4y, 4 is the coefficient of y. The second one says in x, there is only one x. x is the same thing as one x. In mathematics, we don't write one x, we write it as x. So you can say that uh, the coefficient of x is 1. Now let's look at the example 2, as it is stated. This is fraction. 3 over 4x, we say 3 over 4 is the coefficient of x. Also, we have 4n over 7. Same thing as 4 over 7 is the coefficient of n. And finally, we say in y over 5. Remember, I told you x is the same thing as 1x. So when you see the letter y, it's the same thing as 1y. So we say 1 over 5 is the coefficient of y. Now, let's look at this. The second uh, objective I say we should be able to achieve at the end of this class is to be able to group positive and negative terms. Now, the expression such as y, 3y, 5y, and 12y are all terms in y. We call them like terms. And such terms can be added together or subtracted together. Let's look for example. The example where we said simplify the following, 3x plus 4x. It's just to add them up. Why? Because they are like terms. So we say 3x plus 4x is going to give us 7x. Also, look at the next one, 8y minus 3y to give us 5y. So we said we can group positive and negative terms together. Now let's go to the next page. All right. You see, we can also simplify expressions that contain many terms. Let's look at this for example. It says simplify 4m minus 22m plus 13m plus 10m minus 3m. Now, the first thing we do is that we group them, those that are positive, the positive ones together, and then the negative ones together, and then we solve. That's the first thing we'll do. So here we have 4m. The next one is plus 13m. We have plus 10m. Then we'll go to the minus. Minus. 22m and then minus 3m. Now, an expression like this, we can solve for that. What do we do? We add up the positive terms together as well as we do the same thing to the negative term. So say 4m plus 13m is going to give us 27m plus 10, I mean 17m. 4m plus 13m is 17m plus 10m is going to give us 27m. Then we'll have minus 22 minus 3. It gives us 
minus 25. Minus 25M. We can further solve. What do we do? 27M minus 25M is going to give us 2M. Why is it that we can solve further up to this level? Because the terms are in the same. They are like terms. Do you understand? Now we'll go to the next page. All right. Now we are looking at grouping like and unlike terms. You see, in algebra, terms that are the same can be grouped. You can add them together just like I said before. We said 5P plus 8P is going to give us 13P. But in a situation whereby you have terms that are expressed differently, let's say, for example, you have 2A plus 3B. It cannot be added together. Why? Because they are in different terms. So the same thing I wrote here. I say, but it is, it is impossible to simplify 3P plus 7P plus 7T. Why? Because they are unlike terms. Are we together? Now let's look at this. From up there, we said 5P plus 8P are like terms. And as such, they can be summed together. And when you sum it, it will give you 13P. But in a situation of 3P plus 7T, they are unlike terms. And as such, it cannot be solved. And as such, the answer is 3P plus 7T. Now, let's look at this example 5. It says simplify 7Y minus 3X plus 4Y. Like I said earlier, we'll group the like terms together. And then within the like terms, we'll group those that are, that are positive together and the negative ones together. Now, look at this. We'll have solution. It says 7y minus 3x plus 4y. Now we can group this together. What do we do? We bring the y terms together. That will give us 7y plus 4y. Don't forget, they are like terms. Then you bring the one that is a different term behind, minus 3x. And then we can solve for that. 7y plus 4y is going to give us 11y. 11y minus 3x. Can we solve further? No. Why? Because they are unlike terms. And that is our answer for this particular equation. We'll go to the next one. Now, in summary, expressions such as 3x, 12x, and so on are called terms in x. The term 12x, 12 is the coefficient of x. Also, the second one we learned is that like terms are terms that have the same letter. 3x and 8x are like terms. 4a and 11b are unlike terms. The same thing, y and 2 also are unlike terms. Thirdly, we said to simplify an expression means to reduce it to its lowest term. Don't forget that. And then finally, we say to simplify an expression, you follow these steps. The first thing you do is that you group like terms together. Secondly, within like terms, group positive terms and negative terms together. And then finally, you add and subtract in the usual way. Finally, this is just an assignment. I want you to try this. Haven't learned what we have learned today. I would like you to try this at home. The first question says, what is the coefficient of x in each of the following? Don't forget what we learned in, in, in fraction. Say 3x over 4. What is the coefficient of x? B says x. What's the coefficient of x? Number two says, simplify p minus 15p minus 5p minus 2p minus plus 25p. Don't forget grouping of terms that we just learned. And thirdly, number three says, simplify the following. A says 19n plus 19 plus n minus 10. Also, B says a minus 2b minus 4a plus 3c plus 4a plus 5b. I believe with this, this has, brought us, this has brought us to the close of our lessons for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We hope to meet again in our next class. Do have a great day. Thank you.